Hey there, tech fans. Today I'm outside at one of our local baseball fields to show you the tracking feature on the Osmo 360. Now, unlike a traditional camera, where you basically have a fixed field of view, where you point the camera at something you want to record, and if it's not in that field of view, you're not going to get it. A 360-degree camera like the Osmo will record everything around it. So it's got this digital bubble where it actually records all the action above and below and either side of it and even behind it. And then later, you can decide which perspective you care about. You can actually move that perspective, that field of view, digitally in the editing software. This tracking feature does that automatically for you. So all you have to do is draw a box around a point of interest and the camera will move that perspective to follow that. So I'll show you how that works. Here I am walking off to the right hand side of the camera and now I'm behind it so it shouldn't really get me if it was a traditional camera and now I'm along the left hand side of it and I'm coming back to the front. Now that tracked me all the way around the infield. I was going to run the bases but I decided against that. Anyway it tracked me but watch how quick it is. <laughs> up and down. So it's keeping track of my face, that point of interest that I picked. And the advantage to this is if you're out recording and you're doing some kind of vlog or you're showing a product or maybe you're looking at a landscape, you just turn the camera on, hit record, knowing that you're going to record everything in your field of view any way you spin. And then later in editing, you can actually modify that field of view to capture just what you need. But this tracking feature does it automatically. And I think it's an incredibly cool feature.